Zadrizes bus darīs, kas tev. Ok, so the, this, the news for A Song of Ice and Fire, for House of the Dragon, for Winds of Winter, for Game of Thrones, for the Jon Snow prequel show, it's just coming out every week. I'm quite a bit behind and I could spend so long talking about this information in great detail, but I've decided to just summarize it for you. Before I jump into any of that, please do me two things, if you can and if you enjoy this video. The first one, slap a like on it. The like goal is going to be 420 <laughs> or 69. <laughs> uh, but also, this is the most important part, make sure you're subscribed because that way, if I can re-reach 100,000 here on YouTube, it's not really a vanity thing, I already have the silver play button, but if I can re-reach that before House of the Dragon comes out, my videos will stop getting put to the bottom of the algorithm and they will do way better, right? So you get re-verified here on YouTube and that just, for some reason, makes your videos do a lot better in the algorithm. So please do me that favor if you can and subscribe. Okay, so there's two big things that happened. The first one is that George did an interview with a podcast known as Game of owns and i've actually met uh one of the co-hosts i can't remember if i met both of them but i remember specifically having drinks at a bar with one of them in nashville zach uh it's pretty awesome shout out to zach this interview that they do with uh zach and hannah from game of owns podcast that they do with george is awesome there's it's, it's two hours long so i'll try to link it down below in the description uh make sure you go and listen to that yourself but there's three things that i wanted to talk about in this video uh to quickly go over that i think are awesome to hear from that interview uh, the first one is shout out to zach and hannah you guys are fucking amazing it's really cool to hear true fans of not just the game of thrones tv show but also the song of ice and fire books interview george i think that's why he chose you guys to be able to do the interview because clearly you know his work and it shows right so one of the things they mentioned is uh and this is not verbatim but zach and hannah asked george they said how are they going to incorporate the fact that fire and blood has three different narrators telling us what happens during the dance of the dragons right so we've got mushrooms version everybody's favorite versions we've got archmaster gildanes which one of them is going to be uh the one they show on the tv show and how are they going to do it and george kind Kind of goes on a bit of a tangent he talks about this show called i claudius and how at the beginning of each one of those um i claudius would talk about uh several events that happened and how there's different versions of the events and which one is the true one right so uh, a, a more modern example of that would be the last duel right we've got um We've got one person's version, we've got the woman's version, and we've got another dude's version, and the truth is is obviously somewhere in between, right? So that's kind of what they were getting at. Like, are they going to do something like that for House of the Dragon? Uh, George, and I actually heavily disagree with him. He said he would have been a big fan if we saw three different events to each version of the story, and every time something happened, you, you, we get to see all different versions. I feel like that's really cool from a nerd perspective, but from a TV perspective, that wouldn't work. So basically, what they're going to do for House of the Dragon is not necessarily just pick one uh, of the person who tells the events of the story afterwards. They're not just going to pick one person's version and stick with that all the way through. They're going to mix and match. So one event may be Mushroom's version, and then another event may be Archmaster Gildane's version. Um, and then another thing that I want to mention that they talked about, uh, and this question was specifically asked, Asked by Zach, and he said to George, like, not verbatim, but like, what is it like watching Game of Thrones finish um, things, like, as you're writing them in the book? So, basically, to give an example of what he was talking about, it was like, Bran becomes king after Jon Snow kills Daenerys and Jon Snow is forced north of the wall. What is it like watching that on TV and then writing it? Now, it's kind of interesting because George, basically, to summarize, says, I wouldn't recommend it for anyone. Like, obviously, George wanted there to be 12 to 13 seasons of this show. He had planned on having, get this, a dream of spring done by 2015 because he just knew that he would have the time to do so. But after a while, right, he realized the show was moving way faster than his books, and that obviously hurt him. And it was crazy to watch them do versions of his events that he hasn't quite finished writing yet. And it's, it was probably torment. He said he doesn't recommend it to anybody. Um... And then lastly, and this is not something that they mentioned, uh, but this is just my overall takeaway from the interview, and it's that George sounds mentally 
like a 35 year old man. He does not sound at all his age. And that's amazing. You're probably like, okay, what the fuck does that have to do with anything? Like, obviously, George is smarter than I am. He's way more educated, read way more. And let's face it, he's come up with the song Vice and Fire books. But what I mean is that if I was 72 and looked like he did, I may not be as mentally adept. And that's really crucial because he's still writing the greatest story of all time. We want to be as, we want him to be as mentally. Uh, adept as possible his mental prowess needs to be like 11 and like i said that's really exciting to hear because we know these books are still going to be amazing he is not declined mentally at all all right now the last little bit of this video i just want to mention five things from the not a blog post which i've linked down below in the description you can go read that for yourself but it is literally one of the biggest updates for winds of winter that we've ever gotten and i know i keep saying that but that just means that winds of winter is like being close to be completed because we've never been this updated on it and george does even talk about winds in the interview with the game of owns people but the first one that I want to mention is that this is insane. There will be new characters in wins, which is all expected, but no new POVs. No new POVs. That's awesome because obviously if we're getting new POV characters when there's only two books left, that's going to make the wait even worse and even longer. Here's the thing though. He says no new POVs, but almost every single opening chapter for the Game of Thrones books has a different POV character who dies and we never really you know, hear from them again, except for Pate the Pig Boy, but, like, maybe there'll still be a new POV for an opening chapter for wins, but the character will die, so it's just more like an insight into their mind. Um, and then the next thing he mentions is, in the Not A Blog post is that the characters who survive Game of Thrones won't necessarily survive in the books, and the characters who died on the TV show may not die in the books. Now that's exciting, and it also ties in to something else that he kept repeating in this blog post, is that the endings will not be the same. There are POV characters that they didn't even bring to the TV show and obviously because the books are much more in-depth and involved uh, plot-wise rather it's going to be a entirely different ending in certain aspects and the last couple of things that I thought were really exciting about this blog post is uh, he says that he's writing for Tyrion currently so that means that obviously Tyrion is still alive um, another exciting thing is that Quaith will be making another appearance I mean she appears to Daenerys in Dance with Dragons in a dream at nighttime kind of in a dream not really she knows that no one else is in the room whatever we I knew that Quaith would be coming back uh, but also, and I've already said this before, the last thing is that Wins is going to be coming out within the next few years. And I want to thank you all so, so much for watching. Please do me a massive favor and slap a like on this video as the like goal is going to be 420. Um, if there's anything from the Game of Owns interview and the not a blog post that I did not cover in this video that you want me to, let me know down below. Thank you for watching. My name is Mark and this has been Sir Hunts. Zaldrizas Buzdari Exos Daor.